Hey folks, so this is a keyboard project I've been working on for a little bit now. Um, this is, if you can't recognize it from the plastic, this is a Razer Black Widow. Uh, I forget the specific model, it's like a 2013 edition or whatever. It, um, it came with these garbage green clicky switches and yeah that one's more clicky most of them were still clicky some of them were kind of gummed up it wasn't a good situation so I spent a few hours desoldering the entire board taking out all the LEDs taking out all the switches I still have all the LEDs so I'll use them for something I don't know what um, still have all the switches too I'll probably use those for something still no idea what um, but while I had it apart, I sanded down the plate and I gave it a paint job. And um, now I'm just deciding what color LEDs I want to put back in this. Uh, I have four choices. Uh, I could put the original green ones back in, but I'm not, I'm not liking that option. And by the way, if, if you see them flickering, it's because they're not really soldered down. They're just kind of resting in the holes. Um, my second choice is pink, which I uh, might go with. Third choice is purple, and with how dark these things are, um, I'm just going to rule that out entirely. Uh, last choice is blue. Uh, now, I think blue would look really nice with the keycaps, because the keycaps I'm planning on putting in this thing are also blue. Let me show you. I haven't even opened them yet. This is... This is my plan. I don't know how well you can see that, but this is just the uh, novelty kit for Laser GMK set. Uh, but I have the whole set. It should fit this keyboard. Uh, but first, I gotta put some switches in. And with the pink backplate, I'm thinking pink LEDs is best. So I'm gonna go with pink. Now, otherwise, in this video, I do have a lot of soldering to do. So I'm probably going to end up um, just fast forwarding through most of it. And uh, just a heads up, if you can see the LEDs sticking out quite a bit on the, on the switches, that's because I didn't trim the legs and they're hitting the back plate, but they do actually sit flush. There are my purple ones that I will save for another time. Blue ones aside for now. And take pink ones out before I lose them. So the switches I'm planning on using are these Kale Speed switches with a limited edition pink stem. They're super clicky. They have a click bar. I like them. Um, other than that, there's really nothing special about them. I think they're the same as the Kale Bronze switches, just with a pink stem. And seriously, I spent oh, so much time desoldering this stupid thing. I cannot say that it was worth it, but I mean, I bought this board for $15, so I'm really not that deep in the hole here. Even if I were to just throw it out, the plate snaps onto the PCB pretty easily. And I just got to put in all my switches here and then start soldering. Now I'm going to draw on the back the orientation of the LEDs because it's not on the back of the board. And I don't want to run into trouble with that when I actually do assemble this. Luckily, they're all facing the same way. Uh, where are 
Where's my Sharpie? Ah, that'll do. Start right on the front. I know you can barely see it, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and begin placing the switches and then soldering the switches and then I'll go ahead and place the LEDs and solder the LEDs and I don't know, I guess I'll be back in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and switch cameras because this one overheats out of 20 minutes and I have a good feeling it's going to take me longer than 20 minutes. So I'll be right back.
All right, so I finally got all the switches and all of the LEDs soldered, and all of the LEDs but two of them are working, but I think my issue is one of design, not of fault, because uh, this is the function key, and I just don't think it has a backlight on Razer keyboards, and this is the space bar, which also does not have a backlight. So I think everything that should be working is working. So I'm going to go ahead and keep putting this back together. Oh, wait, I forgot. There's one more LED. Always forget about that last one. Where's the end of my cable? There it is. It's lit up, so that one's good. All right. I'm pretty sure that's right. Dropping everything today, man. Sorry, I'm doing stuff out of frame. I'm just tucking the keyboard cable into the keyboard tension. Goes in there. Not the best solder joint, but good enough. I don't think I have a screwdriver handy. That would have been smart.
if for some reason you're following along at home and you're repairing your own keyboard, um, all of the screws in this thing are the same. You can even get, if you need it, a new um, cable here. I suppose you could wire it up with your own cable if you want. The pinout isn't that rough to figure out. Uh, there's the internal USB, the USB port hub, and then the mic and headphone jack. And that's all this is, and you can just trace it out. The only part that you need to plug in is the keyboard's USB. You can leave all the rest unplugged. Why isn't this? There it goes. not the right size screwdriver but it's close enough. I don't recommend using a close enough screwdriver but I've had this project on my bench for months now and I just want to get it done. I suppose all the more reason to use the correct screwdriver but oh well. Six screws left, so yeah. I'm going to have to go find the correct screwdriver. I hope it didn't break anything when I just slapped that together. Pretty sure it wasn't going together just because the clip wasn't lined up. Hey, everything still works. All my LEDs. I even have a pink Razer logo down there, which I think is kind of cool. Not a big fan of the Razer logo itself, but I mean, I'm kind of stuck with it. I'm 
I'm going to unplug that while I'm putting all the caps on. So I'm going to be pulling caps from here. Start at the bottom. All right, so how is this laid out? These are all the normal keys. So the problem is with these Razer keyboards, the uh, bottom row isn't standard. Pretty sure I can work around that with the key caps that I have. Hopefully it works with my stabilizers as well. It's going to be super disappointing if that doesn't work. Sorry if I sound a little funny, I'm a little bit under the weather. Okay. Something's backwards. Uh-oh. There it goes. For some reason I've lost my click, but oh, there it goes. It's a little bit crunchy. I don't think everything's lined up properly. That or I have this in backwards. No, but I don't think I can do much about that. Ah, screw it. Let's try it. Flip around. I had the rest of them backwards, too. Why wouldn't I have this one backwards? Presumably, I need to flip that around as well. Yeah. So I don't think this is going to make any difference. Nothing else though, it should be easier to assemble. But with the stabilizer being on this side.
No, nah, still kind of crunchy, but I think that's the best we're going to get. Pretty sure that's the alt key on Razer keyboards. size is it? No, oh, maybe it is. Do I have... I don't think I have a keycap for this key. At least not with the right label. Yeah, that's not gonna work. This is too big. That's what I was afraid of. I can always just use single width keys. That would work as well. Or I think that one's actually the correct width. Oh no, that's the same. Shoot. Yeah, I'll just have to use single width keys on these ones. Oh wait, that's what they are. Duh. This is the wrong key. This, oh no, it's... Shoot, I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. There we go. That works. And then I'll use one of my special keys or my hack key or something for that. Now bear with me, this is uh, going to take me a while. I think I might fast forward through this part as well now that I've got that key. I'm going to put this key down and then I'm going to swap cameras again. All right, you'll have to forgive my funny camera angle in that one shot that I'm probably going to end up cropping. Um, my camera holder broke, and I didn't realize until it was too late, but I think this thing came out pretty nicely. 
Sorry, I can't fit the whole thing in frame. It's a fucking huge keyboard. But, let me plug it in. Let's try it out. There it is. And uh, just for shits and giggles. in my virtual machine, that's not good. Jesus, I cannot type. Whatever. If you're paying attention, you can see how badly I uh, butchered those words, but you know what? This thing looks freaking awesome. I'm super happy with how it came out. Uh, the camera's not really doing the lighting justice, I don't think. Um, and I don't think I have... Ah, oh, shoot. I don't have the Razer software installed to mess with the lighting or anything. But this came out way better than I would have... Uh, anyone would have expected from a Razer keyboard. Um... Not really happy with these buttons down here, but there's not a whole lot I can do about the spacing because my space bar is too big. Uh, there's another space bar in the kit that is a little bit smaller, but it looks like it's designed for a different layout so the switch stem isn't in the right spot. If it was in the right spot, it would let me move the space bar over and then I could use a bigger alt key so it fills in the space there because this is supposed to be 1.511 1.5 but instead I have a 1.511 1.25 that's what fits um, oh wait hang on I think I am I think I'm real dumb there's another space bar in the big box this one right here that's in the right position. That's slightly smaller. That'll at least let me fix one of these two. Unplug that. I hate the stabilizer on this stupid key. Not do what I want it to do. Maybe it will. Oh shit. Oh, that's gone. Of course, this side doesn't come out easily. Let's find, come on, there we go. There it is, I found it. Oh, sorry, knocked the camera. Oh, my. That was definitely the wrong space bar that I was using. This 
that fits significantly better and is a lot easier to install. And yes, I am completely aware that there is a key or a tool for removing these keys. Guess what? I even have one. I have several, actually. Oh, that is so much nicer. And I thought this kit was going to fit this keyboard perfectly. So this makes way more sense. Boom! How's that look? A lot better? Yeah, I think so. Well, all right. I guess that's that. I have no idea how long this video is going to end up being because I'm going to fast forward through most of the footage that I took. And, um,. I'm excited to use my new keyboard. New to me. Brand new switches at least. The old ones were garbage. I should have cleaned this thing before I put it together. Oops. I mean I did clean it, I just didn't do a good, very good job. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put on all the little cosmetic bits. So yeah, if you're at a thrift store, whatever, you know, doing your thrift shopping, you find a uh, Razor Black Widow for dirt cheap and you're anything like me, you pick that sucker up and you refurbish it. It would actually be pretty interesting um, if keyboard manufacturers offered kit versions of their keyboards. I don't think I would buy a Razor Kit keyboard, but... Oh, maybe I would. I can't say that. My biggest problem with Razer keyboards is generally the switches that they put in. So if I'm buying a kit, I can put in whatever the hell switches I want. Corsairs, you might have a harder time. Oh wait, no, Corsair switched to a new or to a standard layout as well. God, that looks so cool. I'm so happy with this. Pop the camera out of the stand. I should have, in hindsight, used a white primer instead of a black primer on my uh, back plate. It would have given me brighter color. Nonetheless, under my filming lights it doesn't look that good, and in camera it doesn't look that good, but in my normal lighting it looks fantastic. Anyway, at this point I think I'm just gushing over my keyboard. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to hit me up down below. I do read all of those comments. Otherwise, I hope you guys have an excellent, excellent day.